Hello, welcome back to Brassic Classics. I'm here today in the workshop. Um, obviously with the coronavirus outbreak really getting quite serious now. Um, yeah, parts are becoming quite scarce for the Land Rover. Um, so it's just a case of doing what we can do, you know, whilst keeping safe. I'm lucky enough that where the workshop is, there's not many people. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like my safe haven, really. Um, the plan today is to repair the oil filter housing for the Series 1. Um, I'll take you in for a closer look in a minute of uh, what needs to be done. Um, so yeah, we're just cracking on with what we can do. Yeah, until we can get some parts, basically. But hopefully everyone's all right and uh, you're all staying safe. And um, yeah, it's a bit, obviously, it's worrying times, getting quite serious now. And yeah, we all just need to keep going and pull through. Anyway, I'll bring you in for a closer look of what we're doing today, and then we can crack on. Okay, so this is the oil filter housing, as you can see. It's all been sandblasted and is in red oxide. Um, this is the problem I've got. Ah, yeah, this was bent and then snapped off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the edges uh, with the grinder with a flat disc on it. I've got some welding magnets so I can hold it in place. And I've got my, um, well I featured this on one of the early videos, it's a gasless MIG. It's not the best, they're not the best. But I thought I'd give it another shot, see what it's like, see if it can um, sort this out. Um, so right, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna start by grinding off the edges of uh, both pieces of metal. And then we can uh, have a go at welding it up. Okay, so that's the join, welded up and then um, just ground down a little bit. It's not perfect as you can see. Um, if you were really bothered, you could fill in the holes. Yeah, you could use a bit of body filler. Um, I'm just gonna clean it up and spray it all black. It seems strong enough. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect. As I said, you know, I'm learning as a weld. I'm not, certainly not a welder. But I think that's all right, it's done the job. So I'm gonna spray it black and then we'll come back and have a look how it looks. Okay, so I've just sprayed it up. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect but it's, um, it's functional and it works. And as you can see, it looks pretty presentable. Um, yes, there you go, quick repair on the oil filter housing. Um, yeah, any questions, ask me, any advice on, on welding, let me know, because I'm, uh, as you can see, a long way from being perfect, but it does work. Okay, so the next job I'm gonna take on on the Series 1 is behind me, it's the tub. Um, as you can see, this is the, obviously the underside of the tub. Um, it's just got a layer of sort of, well, I guess sort of road dirt, really. There's a little bit of corrosion on the cross braces. So the plan is basically to take a scraper and just clean it up. And then basically just give it an underseal with um, well, whatever I've got at the moment, because obviously can't get anything. Okay, so it's giving you a... So I'm taking off. So that's the idea, just give it a general clean up. And then uh, either a, a layer of under seal or some sort of stone chip. If anyone's got a suggestion of what, what would be good to use, do let me know. Um, I'll probably just do a, a panel because I've only got one can. Uh, but if anyone's got an idea of what would be good to spray, spray it with, do let me know. But I'll come back when I've, um, I've got a panel sort of cleaned up. And, and Welcome ready. back to Brassic Classics. Today I have my own little workforce. Say hello guys. Hello. 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 We have Zach and Axel. They're off, they're off school. Let's put them to work. So here's our Land Rover Series 1 tub. I've done the first half. So we've got Zach and Axe for doing the second half. Looking good. Nice, nice, nice. Right, so I've now cleaned off the whole tub with uh, the help from the boys. Um, as you can see, it looks alright. It's amazing the amount of. Um, dirt and just rubbish that comes off. Um, so I'm basically just going to give it a quick wipe down 
just with a little bit of um, just with a cloth. And then try some stone chip on this panel here. I haven't got a lot of it, so I'm just going to give it a quick, quick once over and see how it comes out. Just quickly going to have a go at the uh, cross braces. They've got a little bit of surface rust on them. Just got a, a wire wheel there. They're not brilliant, but if I can get the worst of it off. So there you go. That's the first bit done. That's a uh, one tin of quite thin stone chip. Um, but what we're going to do is, once that's done, I'm going to go over it with some of this stuff, which is the proper heavy duty stuff. So yeah, one tin. So you can see, yeah, it doesn't go that far, does it really? But it does look a hell of a lot better. Um, corrosion wise, it's not bad, but I mean, I just can't. It's got to look better than, than this, isn't it, really? Um, but yeah, it looks all right. So yeah, that's just a quick, quick example. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, check out the other playlists. Uh, we've got lots of other cars going on, lots of other things. Um, also we're on Instagram, Brassic Classics. I'll put the link there. Um, anyway, see you in a uh, video very, very soon. Uh, we're now putting out two a week, um, because why not? Anyway, thanks for watching, goodbye. Um, also just quickly, a big thank you to all the new subscribers on Facebook. Uh, thanks to anyone that commented. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Uh, big thanks to uh, Martin Lowry from uh, Fuggles Fettling on Facebook. Uh, he's been a big help, lots of advice for me. And he's also helped me to get lots of parts. So um, I can highly recommend them. Um, also, uh, Paul Lund um, for getting in touch and just saying how much he's enjoying the videos. So we like that. And um, his lovely, I think it was a 56 107 tray back, which looked awesome, got to be honest. Um... Well, let's start them young at Grassic Classics. Tap, yeah. Do you like Land Rovers? Yeah, Lolo's, you like Lolo's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>